All right, we are going to continue with designing compositions. Today we are going to do a landscape composition and we are going to make our plan here on our note card. So first off, we are going to decide again on the mood, just like in our abstract painting. We're gonna divide our picture plane. Then we are going to figure out our value pattern and our color story. Once we have all of those things decided, we will have a pretty good start on our piece of art. So I have the mood. I am thinking it's going to be nostalgic, like a memory of Italy. And I'm going to divide the picture plane I'm going to assign a value to each of these areas. And this pencil does not get very light or very dark. It's a, an H. my color story. I am going to try this color story again. Because I want to see it as a landscape. So first off, since this is like a nostalgic painting, the first thing I'm going to do is paint this sky pink. <laughs> so it's, it's a memory. It's not from real life. And it's good to me. After studying a little bit of Van Gogh's artwork, I'm thinking if I leave this 
sky just plain pink and I don't consider my brush strokes, then I didn't really learn a whole lot from Van Gogh when I studied his artwork, so. Take what I learned from him and incorporate it into this picture somehow. But right now I feel pretty good about just blocking in the colors, starting with the background. I've noticed when I've done landscapes that where the horizon line meets the sky, it gets um, lighter down there along that edge. So I'm going to add a little bit of my white to lighten that area up. to that middle ground. Thing I like about acrylic and drawing out the picture first and then putting the acrylic on is I like the fact that you can paint over the pencil lines and get the continuity in the picture. It always bugs me when like the lines don't match up behind the picture so I think some, that's something our eye catches. So it's nice to have a pretty opaque medium. to Italy was these tall skinny trees that they would plant side by side these little clusters of trees and the rolling hills that's how I would describe it anyways I don't know when other people visit, if that's what they notice or see.
All right, I've blocked in all of the color now. Now I'm going to start working through the picture and giving it more depth and texture. I am keeping in mind that my foreground is going to have more detail. It's going to be more complex and warmer so that the colors come forward. And as I move back into the distance, things are gonna get fuzzier and less distinct. Although I might add some texture to the sky so that it will um, have more interest. My focal point is going to be this house. So I do need to add more texture and detail to that area. And so that's the thoughts that I'm thinking now after painting out this plan. But I am really liking what's happening and I like the value pattern. And I think that you can see how simple coming up with a plan is in already making it look like a pretty successful piece of artwork. So I'm bringing this copper color through the picture because it's warm and it's also on the rooftop so I'm kind of bringing it down into the foreground tying the piece together and also adding pattern I'm going to change my paintbrush though because that is just not going to cut it. So something that can help with added texture and interest is changing your brush. So I've switched to a flat brush and it's a little bigger. It's a bigger brush for this area to fill in. So we'll see if I can make some interesting marks with it. Once again, I'm painting over that tree and I'll come back in and paint over it again, taking advantage of the medium and I know that I'm going to be able to paint over that. So. Now I feel like it's this picture is kind of a push and a pull. I'm going over with detail, but I'm going to have to up my edges just kind of going back and forth one of the things that I think is really important when you're creating art is to make it finished so Taking the time to clean up the edges is really important. It's just like when you're sewing, trimming the string off is really important. Don't skip the small details just because you want to be done or something.
When we went to Italy, it was really warm it was during the summertime, but we were able to drive through the countryside and we were able to go to the beach and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. It was really beautiful and That's what I'm thinking about as I'm painting the skies. Just like warm, warm breeze. felt like in Europe there's just layers and layers and layers of paint over the tops of these places and that's what's happening right now over this house and it actually just kind of makes me happy but I felt like the Germans um they really took great care to repaint and keep up and not that the Italians didn't but maybe just they cared a little more about their clothes and looking really nice and um, and they enjoyed the beach and all of those things that make life pleasurable. But anyway, I was just thinking the layers and layers of paint on the white houses in Europe. fun memory for me. Europeans took great care of their homes and of their lives. And Italians were very friendly ones that we met anyway. I don't know. Okay, I might add a couple more layers. Might come back, but that was a really simple that was a really simple landscape. Um, a very simple plan and a very quick execution of that plan. But there are definitely areas that I could improve. <laughs> I guess there always is. So if you find a picture of a landscape or if you use this landscape and you create your own picture, you can use this, you can do a whole different color scheme. This is just a really, really simple drawing today. So I, I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at my plan here and see. I mean, I stuck with the color scheme and I stuck with the value pattern and the plane division. And I feel like it was um, painting it brought back memories of Italy and the nostalgia. Um, I don't know. I think the picture, you can judge for yourself whether or not it shows a memory and nostalgia. But for me, painting it did create that feeling. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.